My friends, what's going on guys? My name is Kai, welcome to the Sober Living channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. What I love to do on my channel is just give tips, hope, and advice to anybody out there struggling with an active addiction, letting them know that there is hope, there is help, and there definitely, definitely is a way to recover. Sometimes on my channel though, I tell spooky stories. And I have a sad story that I wanted to tell you guys um, <clears throat> for a while but I've never really brought it up. Uh, so when I was in rehab, there was this gentleman and uh, we were all in group. We we're, 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 oh, the stuttering, sorry guys. We were all in group together. And um, I was in a special group, it was a group that we started ourselves because we had a lot of free time in rehab. So we all started kind of having our own group meetings and stuff like that. So we had a group for uh, suicide survivors and people who yeah, people who have committed suicide, not they have tried to commit suicide, and uh, it was unsuccessful or something. So, uh, in that group, it was very good, you know, to get it out and to talk to other like-minded people. Uh, but there was this one guy there that I felt so so bad for, and it, it was just terrible. And I want to tell you, so this guy, uh, he was an opioid addict. Uh, he he liked uh, painkillers right and he would just do them all the time and all the time and either way one day I guess um, he, he was just at the end of his rope and uh, he went out for a walk with his dog and he went to like a local park and when he was at the local park um, he decided that he would kill himself like right then and there and uh, what he did was he hung himself I think he did it with his belt I'm not too sure really um, but he ended up hanging himself, or maybe it was with the leash, yeah, it would make sense with the leash. Um, he hung himself on a tree, and it was at like 2 in the morning, and uh, luckily, right when he fell, um, the tree branch broke, and there was a person there, there just happened to be a person there uh, walking by, like they were on like a night jog or something. Um, but he broke his neck. Like he like even though the the tree snapped, he was injured. He if if um if there's a good chance that if that person who was doing a night jog or like a night walk or something, there was a good chance that uh, if they weren't walking by, that he probably would have died that night. And that really put stuff in a perspective for me because you know. Um, when I tried to commit suicide myself, uh, it was with pills, and I tried, I just tried overdosing all the time. I figured, uh, you always see in the news that, um, you shouldn't mix antidepressants with alcohol, and I was on a lot of antidepressants, and that's, that was my method, and, um, I thought, I, when I met this guy and he told us his story, I was like, wow, you know, you were super, super close to death. And then I realized that, like, I was super close to death, too. And it's like, it just makes me think of how grateful that I'm here. And I think that, like, there's a reason that I'm here. And there's a reason why, you know, I was kept alive. And same with that gentleman. I'm, I'm sure that, um, I'm sure that he was kept in this world for a reason, too. You know, um, unfortunately, I don't have much news about him because, uh, unlike my group, uh, we were all like segregated into like groups of ten because of the virus that was going on at the time. Um, but he wasn't in my group. I only interacted with him at the like the one meeting once a once a week kind of thing. He was in a different ward, so I didn't really get to know him that well. Uh, but he told him he told his story and it was just really moving to me. So um, I Really hope that he turned out to be a success uh, From what I knew of him like from meeting him. He seemed like a really nice person and I don't think that anybody deserves that kind of stuff so next time you are out walking your dog in the middle of the night Take a look at the trees because you never know if somebody's trying to hang themselves in it. Scary thought, eh? Either way, um, that's about it. I gotta get some sleep. Um, yeah, I'm really tired, but I'm really worried about falling asleep because I've been having reoccurring nightmares again. Lots of fun. Either way, 
I hope you're well. I hope you're safe wherever you are, whole wide world. Please be safe. Please be sober. If you're not, that's okay. Just have a ride home. Your parents love you. Every one of your family members wants you to wake up tomorrow. And your friends. And me. I want you to wake up tomorrow too. Alright guys. See you later. Bye.